Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Make a comment on the happenings in Kabul where we came to uh, uh, attend the memorial service of Lex Kwangurue, who was one of our members and uh, one of our strong supporters of the PF. What has happened is that uh, it's, there seems to be a Tom and Jerry kind of affair between the state and the family. So we are yet to understand what the way forward is because in this country it seems now everything that's supposed to be normal is being tended to abnormal. I do not think that there is a reason for justification for a state to intimidate families that are mourning a beloved person that died after a short illness. This tells you and me about how insensitive those that are leading you are. If they are going to go to these extremes, it should cost for worry because the next time what is going to happen is they will be entering into your house and tell your wife to say you cannot give birth to death or you are due. They will come and walk into your house and say you cannot bury this person until we tell you when to bury. They can't, the state is encroaching into very, very dangerous uh, paths that we may end up regretting if we don't help them do things better. The fear that they have is justifiable and is understandable. They are, the government in place are going to be out of power in 2026. Their fear is who might come up to sort out the mess they are creating and put them behind bars for the law that they are breaking. That is a fear because there is no justification. Now, this is also good for those who call themselves political advisor to President Tichilema. Levi Ngoma, my boyer, you are messing the president. But instead of messing the president as a UPND leader, you are messing him as a national leader. If all this uh, Tom and Jerry behavior that is being perpetrated by you as a political advisor, because you, there's no way this can be happening when you should understand the political implication of this behavior by the state police. So if you're a political advisor to the president and you are busy giving us an opportunity to politic, because for the next uh, few weeks we'll be talking about what has happened today, and we're happy about it because you seem to not know what you should be doing. So my brother, Levi Goma, as a political advisor to the president, I think you need to, to start uh, checking your strategy. You are messing the country and you, are, you end up staking the country if your political strategies are going to go through what we are seeing, where you are breaking the law with impunity because you want to justify your behavior to, to convince Mr. Ichirema that uh, he's going to be in power beyond 2026. It's unthinkable. You should know that as a political advisor for anything that is done politically wrong by a sitting president, you're 100% to blame. I wonder why this country keeps on having square pigs, round walls, misfits, so to say, in higher offices next to kings who are supposed to have people can think, reason with wisdom to help the president. So, amidst a lot of suffering that the people are going through, you go to intimidate the people that are mourning, a beloved who was a national asset to this country. That they should not have a memorial service. What is the fear about? The political move that is going through the country is unstoppable. What is the reality is that the people have lost interest in the UPND because UPND has failed to govern. It doesn't matter what one thinks. It doesn't matter what intimidation one can put up. Time to parking is now because two years is not too much. The idea 
number of following people that are doing the normal thing that they are supposed to do is just going to imbalance the president as it has always been imbalanced in the president we are losing respect internationally and locally and even his backers i think now are not interested in his strategies and you cannot take the peace and freedoms of your country for your citizens or because you want to be seen to be powerful today i have read in a newspaper where they are saying that the president where the concord has said the president is not uh, obliged to stay at inquazi house that is okay here is a, here is my point when you are a man that is elected to take care of the well-being of the people and you purport to be a man who is financially disciplined towards the resources of the country it is through those things which you are not compelled to do but you must do them as a the right thing that is where your leadership is in so if he, is, he has no obligation to stay at community at the house and not staying there is costly to the country that is where his integrity is supposed to be seen where he doesn't need to be compelled by law but it has to take decency and morality in order for him to claim properly that he is able to uh, save the resources for other pressing needs for our people in the country so countrymen and women it's a sad day for me to watch what i've watched here pf is not a violent party pf has always been provoked and when those that provoke pf are dealt with they turn and say pf is a violent party from the time pf lost power pf leaders and us the supporters confirmed and accepted and recognized president Ichilema as a president of this country because we are patriots president Ichilema, his ministers and his the cadres or press singers never recognized president lungu as president because they are patriotic for seven years we accepted the moment president lungu said i have considered to fit to mr Ichilema. he is now a sitting president we all accepted we have not seen insults that president lungu used to receive as a sitting head of state from the UPND cadres. There was no minister now or MP then from UPND that stopped the cadre from insulting the president. So I think we deserve to be respected. Yes, there may have been violence there and then some cadres were thugs and they introduced thuggery in the party and the, you call it cadreism. But that was purely oligarchism. So yes, those things happened, but we should be respected for being there to ensure that we do our politics with patriotism. It's not all of us that tolerate certain nonsense, that tolerate certain nonsense. Even when we are in power, we are able to speak. We are on record. So for me, I think Mr. Hichilema is being uh, made to understand that by intimidating patriotic front, it makes him uh, a most powerful person. And by intimidating PF, is uh, doing uh, so much uh, politics that are going to see him in 2026. That's not possible. My brother living Goma, my cousin, you are a mess. You are a disgrace to this country you are a mess and you are a disgrace to this country and you have messed up mr hitchman the higher the idea i realize that the better thank you uh, how far was uh, the preparation from the graveyard did they prepare or the tents were put and when that was communicated they started to they started removing the tents because people were intimidated i'm sure you saw the the, the, the tankers that came here and the cruisers loaded with police officers but again i'll tell you something my brother i love police officers police officers don't vote for the government the number one motivator of regime change it is the police mwanawasa lost in state house police camp and no police camps Sata won when he was in opposition. RB lost in all police camps and in state house police he lost. PF, despite having done a lot of things for the police, they bought them boots, they bought them uniforms, new uniforms, they increased their salaries, they bought them hardware, they bought them cars and all these things that you are seeing being misused today. It is the PF that bought. What happened? The police voted PF out in police camps and in state house. 
Now, the people that chose President HH in State House over President Lungu was president then, have been transferred from the places that they voted uh, the man from. They voted the man out from. So what does that tell you? That behavior by the, the government to misuse the police works to the advantage of the opposition. The police officers are going through hardships. Their salaries have not been increased in the past two years. The cost of living has gone high. So every normal citizen, every normal civil servant understands that things are bad. So much as they may use them like that, at the end of the day, the police are going to put them out. The crusade is real. This is irreversible. Thank you. Any other question? Uh, the langos between the Mao Sampa and uh, if you have made looking at something there, Mao I Sampa. A, I have a problem with our journalists. Mao Sa I want to ask you a question about Mao Sampa. Uh, they are calling themselves that they are new PF, there is another PF. Any comment about the Mao Sampa and the, uh, the other PF? Whatever that faction smokes should be very strong. When marijuana is legalized in Zambia, it should remain banned. I have a problem with the journalists in Zambia. Journalists must be able to understand they are supposed to educate and inform the public. Journalists are supposed to get the manifestos of political parties and constitutions of political parties so that even when they are looking at these scenarios, they are asking the right questions to the perpetrators of criminal behavior. But I see some journalists even make reference to Mao Samba as president of PF. That is unthinkable. For me, it doesn't bother me because I know how the script is going to end. I can tell you that I can delve in the future and I can tell you here that I know how this is going to end. Mao Sampa is going to be in problems. He has quoted so many criminal behaviors and he thinks that UPND is going to back him. He's mistaken. They, are, they, they need that seat in Madhya. Mao Sampa is going to be in so many problems that you won't sort out. Because all these issues that he is being protected from, one day we'll have to answer them. One thing Mao must know is that he may not understand how these guys will be diced against him, but he'll be diced against him. The same regime will dice it against him, and you'll be in hot soup. President Ichirema has all have immunity. All these other people will not have immunity. They can be arrested the next day. All the people that are in government, be it in the judiciary or anywhere else, President Ichirema showed us that it's easy to, to fire a judge. You simply uh, come up with a complaints, judicial complaints commission, that toy your line and uh, have uh, some 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 uh, lifeless uh, cadres to <laughs> to to complain against certain judges that you remove them so if president H has demonstrated that it's so easy to fire a judge which was not even impossible then because the president that was there believed that the judiciary must operate on its own it's an independent organ that is why you saw that when we were in ruling party upnd celebrated a lot of cases that they won against the government and the pf lost a lot of cases that they wish they won but they had to understand that the courts works independently so all these people that are perpetrating criminal behavior in the mao samba saga are going to dance to a very serious music and they will twerk like hell that i can tell you can quote me anywhere so that faction to me doesn't exist what exists is a group of people that are being fooled that they can be protected by doing criminal things and they get to get out of things in this country there is no protection for a criminal for any criminal behavior there is no protection and if anybody is going to tell me that this criminal behavior being supported by the government of the day in the Mao Sampa issue puts the, gov the, the government of Zambia in limelight for good reasons abroad they are mistaken all these things that you are seeing the dollar escalating what are staggering is because investor confidence is not there people are scared of putting money in a country where the law is no longer being respected anarchy is lawlessness and that is what we are witnessing but i can tell you for a fact kk said he could never betray africa or betray zambia over his dead body and he went on to say zambians will be born from our blood and they will continue the fight i want to remind mr h the that those zambians that KK referred to, we are the ones who stand for the good of this country patriotically and will defend what must be defended. Lawlessness ma will not be tolerated. The law, the abusing of the law by the police and the intimidation by the ruling government 
will have consequences in the future in the near future and not too long from now i would rather leave an office as a honorable man having failed to to to, to, to fulfill my promises but at least i should leave the office as a honorable man having respected the law and the constitution of the land because i would have sworn to uphold defend and protect so that is what i can say how possible that uh, the dust will settle in the pf because there, there is the no language. dust that is because the two camps are fighting there is no fight there is no fight there are no wrangles in pf mao sampa is supposed to be uh, followed by the multitude of people in pf what mao sampa did is an illegality that any decent government should have uh, condemned and all those criminal behavior that people Perpetrated, perpetrated as a criteria, he should have been in police custody if not in jail. And that those things will come. So don't say there is dust, there is fighting. There is nothing like that. How many people are here? How many people are you going to find in the community saying we are we are um, um, for Mao Sampa PF? That's nonsense. That's simple, simply anarchy. And the anarchy should not be tolerated. So yes, there seem to be dust. There's no dust. Dust is in the opposition, in the ruling party government. That's where dust is. Because they cannot stomach the fact that PF is still strong and PF is coming back to power. They can uh, run to however they want to run. But the reality is that the Zambian people are going to vote to PND out and PF is going to continue from where they left. This is standard reality. There is nothing that Mr. Itzema will do about it. There is nothing that uh, this character, cousin of mine, uh, Levin Goma, will do because he has proved that his thinking and what politics should be is wrong. And I don't even know what made him qualify to be a political advisor because that dust doesn't exist in PF. That dust exists in community house because that dust is too much. In fact, it does. We can't come community house. Because the move is serious. The man was uh, was in his house for two years. They smoked him out. They pushed him too much. He spoke one day for less than 30 minutes. Look at where we are. Minister started having press conferences. Like headless people. That was wrong. Now that there is dust in community house, they have to find a stooge, a person who cannot clearly see that is being used and at the end of the day is going to be in prison and you regret and is a man that i've always had respect for but i can tell you here that i feel bad for what will happen to him when this government is supporting him this power or when this government chooses to do the right thing and stops supporting him so there's no dust in pf you must understand that mao sampa if he has to go to secretaries he has to go with the police community house has to sanction that you cannot tell me that the the, the inspector general of police can command the battalion of police to go to secretary to support mao sampa without the president being aware that is wrong then we are the wrong president in, in, in place who is not aware of what is happening around if the police can come here in the numbers they came you cannot tell me that the president is not aware the home affairs minister is not aware the justice minister is not aware and the, 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 the ig is doing it on his own that's unthinkable that's a very different and very complicated state of affairs then so this is being done because the dust in the community house they can come for change is too much in that place Aircon cannot save them from the, the dust. So now they have to find someone to help them feel comfortable temporarily. My brother, when you break the law, no matter how long it takes, if somebody who is decent, who is a patriot, who understands the reason why the law must be respected, comes, you are a prisoner. You are a potential prisoner. That's how it is. So for me, when you, you say dust, and anyone who is saying dust, it's a mistake. For those journalists that are addressing Mao and Bazen, as, as the president of PF, they are mistaken. They are so disappointing and they are distressed. Because they should simply look at the constitution of PF and look at what the constitution says. Then they'll be able to address Mao with serious questions. Then even waste time talk about this Chavinga, so Chavinga. So no, guys, this country needs to go back to its decisions where law was respected in the land. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutati Mpondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.